in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the homework assignments. So, um, not to repeat myself, but I will. Um, remember, my role in this course is that um, you know I am hired to kind of oversee um, the whole, you know, assess you based on my training as a professional economist. Um, I don't as much um, control the course, which might be a little bit surprising, but um, the intent of the university is to have kind of a uniform structure um, that um, a faculty member could kind of come into. Um, and, and there's obviously some advantages to that uniformity. Um, I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm not trying to, resist it you know i'm i'm really truly not um the way that the homework is structured not by me but by someone else is that they want you to use the textbook uh problems and applications um so basically kind of like the back of the chapter questions so if we went here to chapter one or module one you would see this is covering two chapters chapter four and chapter ten and if we scroll down enough here, we see that we have uh, the first homework for 1A would be chapter 4 is doing numbers 3, 6, 8, 10, and 11. And then you would have another assignment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so let's click on the assignment. And you'll see that all it's really asking you to do is submit that file. Um, let's talk about how you should submit it. Um, if you want to handwrite it out, totally fine. You would have to take a picture of it and upload it as a single file, but I'm okay with it. If it's as long as it's a single file and I can read your handwriting, totally fine to just handwrite it out. You don't need to type it up for me. If you want to type it up or that's your preferred way, you could do it in Word and that's fine. Um, I would encourage you to, I think, just use Google Docs, and I think Google Docs would make your life a lot easier. Let's talk about how you would do that. There's two ways you could do it. Okay, so I'm just going to go to docs.google.com. If you've never used Google Docs, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now I'm just going to create a new doc. Okay, so this is the Chapter 4 one, so it'd be like, Chapter four homework. Try it. Um, number one. Now I don't need to write out what the question is because, dude, I know what the question is. Write me the greater. So you would say stuff like, you know, blah blah blah. Demand is shifting out. Supply is shifting all around. Equilibrium price increases, and oh yeah, the other thing decreases. Okay. So right, you would type out your whole thing. Then, if it's asking you to do a graph, there's one of two ways you could do it. I'm going to talk to you about the way I would do it if it were me. And then um, we can talk about an alternative way of doing it. So this is if you're doing it the technology way. If you just want to handwrite out everything, again, totally fine. You just need to turn it into a single PDF. Um, you know, don't submit to me six pictures because I don't want to look at six different files just to grade one homework. Um, that I'll be particular about, so forgive me for that, but I just need to do that. So for this, so I've written out my response, and then I would go to insert, and I'm going to do a drawing. Okay, so now here... Can I just do a, it doesn't let me just do a straight drawing, I guess. Okay, right, so I could do this whole, right, so I'd have to, you know, write out demand here, and then I could have supply here, and then I could write something out here. Right, and I, you know, I could do the whole thing. 
Um, Okay, so now you can see here's my supply and demand graph right here. You know, and you, it's fine if, as long as you got straight lines, that's fine. Um, the alternative way to do it, though, would be to go to Insert Image, and you'd be uploading it from your computer. So what you would do is you would just draw on a piece of paper your graph, take a picture with your phone, send it to yourself, and then insert it as an image. Um, or right, even you say image, insert image from your camera. So that'd be an easy way to do it. And then you would just basically have your thing, your typewritten up text, and then you would insert graphs as you go along. And I think that'd be pretty easy. Um, and in fact, when I look at the answer key, of the um, person who made this assignment. Uh, it looks like he did it as a, well, I guess you're not seeing the answer to this one. It looks like he did it as straight lines. I didn't make the answer key. Um, <laughs> it's not, I wouldn't be that professional about it. Um, not that I'm sloppy, but you get this, you get the idea. Um, okay, so that's the, um, how to do the homework, um, how to kind of create the file and whatnot. I would, if it were me, I would probably just type out things that can be typed out and then I would just draw the pictures and insert the image for things that need to be drawn out. That's the way I would do it. Now, um, yeah, so uh, basically that's how you do the homework.